So. Hello there, folks. Welcome back to ESA Summer Online. We are raising money for Alzheimer's funding. Links to the date can be found below the stream. We would like also like to thank Kaspersky, Twitch, and ViewSonic for sponsoring this event. Now it is time for Raccoos, who is going to be running Simon the Sorcerer. Take it away. Thank you very much, Tim. Yeah, some of the sources are a good old point and click adventure. And I hope every everyone is ready because this is kind of a weird start, how it starts. Because they're saying the first movement of your mouse is the timer start. So I'm not touching anything. I hope Recult is ready for the timer. I would say count down from five to go. At go, we will start it in five, four, three, two, one, and go. And yeah, this is Simon the Sorcerer. Okay, I have just <laughs> a little time loss because he is just listen to the good music in this case. I don't know which music. Maybe some Van Halen or some other. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, yeah, Simon the Sorcerer is just a really, really old point and click adventure. Maybe not that old, like Monkey Island or some other games from Lucas Arts. Um, if I'm right, it's from Adventures of from uh, Great Britain, um, which are made of this it is um just a pixelized game this is the real point the typical old 90s games were very pixeled <laughs> um i would say that and yeah the story is really simple yeah really really simple you're just a teenager about 14 years 15 years am i, am I right and you followed your dog on the rooftop on the um, attic and found a box which you never saw open it fall down uh, fell down and yeah that's it <laughs> and you well now and you're now in this world where you're going blind in any house where you can find a letter which is to you to simon and where they're saying hi i'm calypso and i need your help i'm a statue now thanks to sorted and we need to help that we get can get alive, back to life again, and uh, beat Zorid. And now this is our <laughs> yeah, our job to um, yeah do riddles, many riddles, but any many many dialogues like this with the barbarian, which we see, which has a little problem with a thorn in his food, and I think he has another problems maybe with a glitchy face right now. Yeah, maybe maybe not. Come on, <laughs> I want to see it. Yes, yeah, right now. <laughs> Just a little glitchy. Um, this is what the the problem with this game is. If you're skipping too fast, there are some mechanics which are important now. If you're skipping something too fast, sometimes they're duplicating some sprites. Like Simon is doubled, or this barbarian was doubled, and <laughs> it looks awkward and funny at the same time. Um, and there is one big reason why we are using just the uh, voiceless just with subtitles so um the experience which i had with this game was that we had many soft logs just with the voice because he was too fast and sometimes he stuck out of the screen without moving anymore and some voices especially in the german one i pl uh, played the first time with the german voices because <laughs> i'm from germany and the first time I played that game, I was about eight or nine years old, so I never learned English, so it's it was necessary for me. And the most thing is that the um, voices are pretty long. So if you're using the subtitles, it's always long. And with the subtitles, it's a bit faster, but not that fast. The reason here in this game is... Not every dialogue is skippable. That's a big point. Why this? Um, yeah, why the estimate is about one hour? I don't really know. I have. <laughs> I see. I didn't activate it in my live split this time, but it's fine. <laughs> so on my side, um, but I have the time from the Isla later. And yeah, um, there are many things which is 
really, really weird in this game. Because if you're going too fast, so th 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 that point which is important for speedrunners, going fast as possible. And if you're going too fast, sometimes you will softlock the whole game and you have to restart. And if this happens, uh, I would have a kind of problem here. Because at the end of the game, it would be... Impossible to repeat all this game. The only thing is if we're maybe halfway we can do it with the fast forward option of the scum VM again. But soft locks are not funny. I mean this game does not have any autosave like the modern adventure games or the more than modern games in any way. But okay, that's <laughs> that's some um, gameplay mechanics. Um, yeah, from the story here, we are now have some water from the um, from the well, which we need right here for Ove. Ove is just a farmer. Not uh, he seems not that intelligent, but it's fine. And yeah, we try to help him that his beans here. Will grow up as fast as possible with a whole bucket of water and it doesn't work and he gave up and we have the beans which we need later and the whole game has some um, interesting points I mean I don't have the whole um, names of every um, tale um, or from every movie or whatever will happen here but how oh, I don't I didn't miss anything right now. L uh, let me know when you've got a second. Yeah, of course. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we have received a fifty dollar donation Whoa. from <laughs> Peking Boo, who was the runner of the previous game, Splatoon. As promised, a twenty-five dollar donation for my PB and a further twenty-five dollars for finally no longer being last on the leaderboard. <laughs> Thanks everyone for having me and enjoy the rest of the marathon. Well, thank you so much indeed, Peking Boo. I'm sure everybody will agree that was an absolutely fantastic run. So thank you again for your very generous fifty dollar donation. And con congratulations for PB. Nice to hear that. Um, I had no time to watch this. <laughs> I was already here to do it the whole run but now I, I mean the I watched many 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 runs and there were many world records PBs etc this is a great marathon for summer yeah <laughs> for this summer in this case <laughs> it's great um yeah we met I, I don't know the uh the, the name of uh, I, I don't even know the English name of the tale. It was uh, Rapunzel in German, I think, with the long hair and the tower. And now she's a pig, <laughs> just a pig. Who needs her anymore? Because we needed her help with the truffle door, chocolate truffle door. I mean, truffle pigs. Everyone knows them, but never ate them. And yeah, we got some uh, smoke box in the head, which we need for the wax, and. This wax we will need in the bar again. Okay, this is fine. We get the wax right now. Because we need some beer. And without the beer, we cannot um, can go to the dwarves. Which are... Yeah, I think it's a tale too. <laughs> a very important tale in this case. So, just what I was speaking with a barkeeper, which has the job to bring me a drink. And that's it. And now I have to wait. Okay, this was fast enough. Sometimes, uh, in this point, it's for it's kind of for me if I'm fast enough or not with the mouse, etc. Because um, if you're using the wax with the barrel and the barkeeper is starting to speak with me, then I know, okay, this was pretty slow. And if he had no time to start a dialogue, and it was pretty fast. And I think I can skip a cycle, which can maybe save one or two seconds. It's not that much, but in this game, every second is uh, every second is very important, especially later on the uh, on the witch fight. Cause this is 
The most people um, thinking the adventure games doesn't have any RG or some some other, so it's just a straightforward game. And this is not that right, cause I know some games like Monkey Island 1, which has two points of RNG, uh, Monkey Island 2, which has a RNG based ending, and uh, Monkey Island 3 at the same point with the sword fights. And this one has a sorcerer fight against a witch, which is a really simple one. It's kind of um, a rock, paper, scissor style, I would say it, yeah. <laughs> and okay, this way, this is, no, 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 please there. And yeah, just, <laughs> you have to be lucky, that's it. You just have to be lucky or you will lose and you can lose so many, t so much time. Um, in this fight. Oh, this was... Whoops. <laughs> Just hit the wrong button on my mouse. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. We have the saucerphone. I don't know what it is, but we need it later to wake up some people. Sometimes it's really creepy. Okay. Um, this... Sometimes there are some positions which we think, okay, maybe we need it, maybe not. Um, to be honest, as I played it as a child, I lost me many times in the whole forest because I didn't know how to use the map. Um, I didn't know that you can use the map. And that was horrible for me, so I have walked all the whole way and it was, ah, it, it was bad. It was really bad. Okay, we have a stone which has a word uh, written in, which is beer. And with this word, we have the password to enter the... W ah, come on. I misclicked it and he th thought, okay, I can walk upstairs again. No, you should... Uh, you shall go into the dwarf mine. Where we can find many drunken dwarves. Cause they love beer. I think... There is nothing to say anymore. <laughs> they love beer and that is the important thing. Um, the good thing is here right now we can skip this. I have the feeling I missed something. Some item. But I'm not sure. Tickling the dwarf. So we can get a key which we need to get the storage, uh, to get into the storage. But everyone who knows the tale, they are not, um, yeah, mining some coal or some ores. <laughs> no, <laughs> only crystals, diamonds, and many, many more. I don't know why. Maybe they want to be the richest, but they don't like other people, so... I don't think they can really use it. <laughs> okay, we need the rope later. On and the hook. And we're going into the storage. And we can do it like a like a godfather. I have an offer I have an offer which you can can't reject. I hope it's right in the English one. <laughs> I only know the German one again. Um Maybe I should watch the movie in uh, in yeah in the in English one, but it's okay. Okay, we give them the uh, the the voucher for the bar, and we get a ge gem. And we are using a little skip as we're going to the center of the forest again with the map. It's uh, a bit faster than walking through the whole cave, and we are meeting um some uh, guy. Um, I forget the name. <laughs> ah, woodcutter. <laughs> I, for I already forget the name woodcutter. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the word. Okay, you need cheering up. Please tell me what is the problem. The, bro uh, the problem here is that he um, there are some trees, magical trees, um, which he can cut off only with the help of a metal called Mildred. And the Smilderith isn't found be here, and the dwarves will not help them. He got only a metal detector in a 
Fantasy Medieval World. <laughs> it's great. Why not? Okay. Um, so, we have the metal detector, but the next thing is we have to sell this gem on this dodgy geezer. Uh, to this dodgy geezer. Um, yeah, and he's trying to put the price down as much as possible with four gold, and this is not enough. We need many more, uh, much more, much more. And we get 20. It's enough, I think. And we have a double again. <laughs> That's what I love this game. Just too fast, and now then we have two Simons again. Okay, um, please uh, give them the shopping list and uh, pick up... Oops. Okay, this was slow. It's fine. So we are the wrong person, but it's not the problem. He, they trust me. Because normally an, another person uh, is bringing the shopping list to them and taking care about the delivery. But we are doing this job now. And for these people who remember the game, we will visit a person or a creature. I think it's more better to say it's a creature. It's a person and a creature, but the problem is it's not human, it's not that animal-like, it's more um, a creature of the swamp. I don't know the name right now in the English version. Uh, am I? If I'm right, then it's the Swampling. In German it's Sumpfling, <laughs> which is the same word, so it's fine. And the Swampling is always an annoying creature with, which has birthday and nobody is visiting it or him I think him um, if I remember right it's a guy in this case more information you can find in the second game <laughs> um, but yeah uh, like I said it's birthday time and he cooked a birthday stew and nobody came nobody will eat it and we are the only visitor and we have to do what he wants. But first, look at the left. You see, he missed some head. <laughs> Which is crying always. Okay, we can skip right now with escape. Please, come on. Um, okay, not, r not now. Ah, swampling. Swampling. It's always swampling, yeah. And it's a swamp stew with a secret ingredients but the important one is part of the swamp okay the first thing is gone now we just say something else have mercy yeah <laughs> i don't want to know um what are in this what is in the stew and we need um this specism jar because we need the stew later for some person, which maybe <laughs> um, people remember, maybe not, if you saw the movies or if you read the book. Because, to be honest, in the time of the 90s, we the most games um, tried to put some tribute characters, so it's just more... Uh, they put the, some characters or some... Um, other things from movies from other games etc into their ga their games uh, and in the 90s it was not that horrible if you're doing this it was, it was just a tribute today the most don't uh, doing this cause they say nah, maybe copyright problems etc etc and i don't understand it if you doing it like a tribute in this case <laughs> Okay, so we are done with the Swampling. Long dialogue. This was really, really, really long dialogue. Okay, okay. He, we have a loose plank. And we bought the hammer and we get a free nail in which these both we can uh, repair this plank. And the next, I think we are... Uh, I think we are about 80 minutes. Uh, we get the frog spain, which we need so late. <laughs> it's funny. Um... Yeah. Maybe some other topic. While uh, it, it's about the um, um, it's about the uh, point and click adventure games, because 
I, I mean, I saw many other speedruns which are in the action adventures, racing games, etc., etc., many, many genres. And the Party Click Adventure games is um, not that big community of runners and maybe of uh, viewers. Maybe because it's straightforward on the most point and some people asking me why are you doing this? Why are you doing... Uh, why are you running especially the Pony Click Adventures? And I think I can only answer this like why are you listening to metal or to punk rock or to... Uh, Jazz or swing? Why are uh, why are you playing action adventures, shooters, uh, point and clicks, simulations? Why are you doing this, this, and this? It's always the same time. I'm just doing this what I have fun for it. So it this is really fun for me. That's the point in this case. Um, it's not that stressful. The most time, the problem with uh, with the most thing is I don't have so much time um, to learn the RNG pattern of many uh, characters in many games, etc, etc. So I, I'm i doing more to learn the root of the game, just a blind root. That's easier for me, especially to say I'm going to work, going home, doing some homework stuff, cleaning, etc. So this is, for me, it's easier. And it's, to be honest, it's really, really fun. Okay, um... Simon the Sorcerer is a bit slow for me, to be honest. Uh, other games like um, like Deponia can be really, really fast. I mean, uh, the record is right now at 30 minutes and 40 seconds, if I'm right. And it's pretty fast because you have the, yeah, the teleportation kind of to switch to other locations very fast. And... This is what these games don't have, but you have an, you, you can chill while doing this. To be honest, <laughs> it's really really uh, smooth, and but it's very important um, at these games to remember all the dialogues, which can be hard at the same time. And to be honest, here in this game, I cannot remember all the dialogues. I'm trying, but I cannot. Um, especially later, I'm not that far away anymore from a, sp uh, from a special one, um, where I'm always struggling. And this time I don't have any notice here. <laughs> no, normally I'm running the game and have uh, on the left screen some uh, notes for the whole game. Um, sometimes I have to scroll down because it's too much. But yeah, um, it's... To be honest, really hard to remember everything. So, um, back to the game <laughs> after just saying a short way. You have to, uh, you have to have fun running <sighs> games like this. May yes. I ask a question? Sorry. Yes, you can. <laughs> of course. Yeah, uh, just based on what you've just said there, I totally agree with you in terms of having fun. That's the, obviously the most important thing. But I also wanted to ask you: Do you? Or did you play these games casually before learning them as a speedrun? And the most obvious question, did you enjoy them? Uh, to be honest, um, Simon the Sorcerer is one game which I am played casually about... I would say one time every three years. So often enough, Day of the Tentacle was too many times, um, sometimes once a year and sometimes four times a year. And so I can say before I ran, ran the game, I was at the point about 100 times finished the game casually with all dialogues, etc. So yes, I'm more, um, I'm just playing the game first um, casually, then I will um, do it in the speedrun style. Cause to be honest, I don't like it if you're doing the game just. Um, yeah, first speedrun style and then casually cause it's not that interesting anymore, especially for the the opponent click adventure for the uh, for the whole riddles. Cause you j just looking at the guide, you're learning the riddles, you understand them, but then playing casually and you know all the riddles, maybe the story is then interesting, but normally it's not that fun anymore. So 
Oh, no, just use the mithril <laughs> with the anvil. Good. I don't miss the cycle, so it's fine. <clears throat> yeah, but I played it many times casually. Um, just planned, uh, but I didn't have the time right now, was, for example, the Salmon Max Season 3. But I'm stuck in the first uh, episode, so I have much to do for the casual game right now and enjoying the dialogues, etc. So it needs time. Thank you. Yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah, no, it was just to, to see, obviously, uh, I think it's very, very important when you run a game that you do obviously have some concept of the game itself and you enjoy it. And that's going back to what you said earlier. I think you enjoy it more as a casual run through first and then you can get into the sort of speed tech and stuff. Yeah, um, I know one case, I, s I just saw it on a VOD um, from Henny K. He learned a game, but I, to be honest, this game ha doesn't have that much story. Maybe I will get a shitstorm for that, <laughs> for that, what I said right now. Um, it, um, oh, how was it called? I don't even remember the name. Darksiders? I think Darksiders 2 was it. He learned the game first in speedrun style and then... Pl I, I don't know, he played it maybe casually later <laughs> or not. Um, but... I think the reason for this was more a competition with some prizes. Maybe at this point you're changing your mind, uh, but normally I think you should uh, play it casually. I mean, I uh, would be interested to play some games like Mario Odyssey 2, um, especially after I did uh, kind of any percent and later I may uh, I played the 999 moons <laughs> within 24 hours, so just many to learn again, and we will see maybe later. Um, Simon, please walk to this post. Are you kidding me? Okay, <laughs> I can skip this now. Um, this is the, uh, the problem with the stump. If you're clicking too many times with the link uh, with the left mouse button, um, you're skipping this uh, th this trigger which we used the first time in the stump and the second time with this virgin, with this goosey guy in the next to the shop and the smith. And yeah, you can skip this uh, the whole time. But now we need uh, the, the woodworms which are living in the stump. Yeah, we have uh, speaking woodworms in this game. And we need the help. But they are so annoying. And especially right now, they are talking too much, and the next thing is the whole family is speaking with us, I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's it's horrible. We can only skip the, the Simon dialogues, but not the woodworm. Um, okay, we can skip that, this right now, and we have everything we need. Cause, um, we are weird like a sorcerer the whole time, but we don't have any um, spell. We don't know how to use magic in any case, so we're just a teenager in the costume of a sorcerer. <laughs> it's not more, not less. And we are preparing everything right now to uh, be a good sorcerer later. Um, and we need the help of the woodworms later, and we need... Oh, um, I can't... I don't need to walk this way, I'm going to the crossroads. Yes. Um, yeah, we need spells, we need uh, some kind of stuff, and we need a license. <laughs> yeah, a kind of license. Okay, uh, but first we have to talk to some guy, maybe you can remember, maybe not. I, To be honest, I don't like the movies. This is Gollum. Hello, Gollum. <laughs> That's what I mean with the copyright problem uh, problems, which were, were not really there in the 90s, which is now a big problem today, uh, but I think nobody says against uh, Gollum. And yeah, he needed some food for the meeting or whatever it is in his cave and he tried uh, to fish some fish, but he was not successfully and he lost a ring. And this ring, yeah, is maybe the powerfulest ring, or maybe not. I mean, you will see right now which can, uh, what he can do. 
he makes us kind of transparent. <laughs> it's not more, not less. But it's important for us. And now we are going to the crossroads again. Please use the map. Thank you. The crossroads again and going to the tower. Hopefully I don't miss anything but right now. But it's it's uh, it's nice right now. Good. We are using the hair again to climb up the tower. Using the woodworms here. Then... Because the problem is in the tower there are many more things to find. But... We have no stairs, etc. So we need the help of woodworms to create some holes right here. And to fall not down again, we need the ladder which we took a few minutes ago. And now we're climbing down and find some beautiful sarcophag or tomb. Tomb sarcophag is, in, I think, is the German word. But tomb is correct. And but we have a little problem with the tomb. It's full of bandages, but it's not that problem. <laughs> Hi there! Beautiful mummy is visiting us, and we have to get this the stuff in the hand of the mummy. And I hope I don't ah, don't have a problem right now. Yep, please. Open the tomb. Sometimes if you're clicking too fast or double times on the ladder, he's climbing down and exactly at the same time he is climbing up again and then you have to climb down. <laughs> uh, you have to be very, very careful about your clicks. Because the, the game mechanic is um, like this. Pick up this thing and you can always uh, say, okay, I'm clicking on use again. And after that... You can order some more. So you can say, okay, do this, do this, do this. So you can prepare much, much things in this game. But if it's doing it wrong, you climb up and down the ladder again. And this is a time lost. Horrible. Just horrible. Okay, we are now... Maybe you remember we took some paper under, um, under a stone. This was a, for, uh, was a fortress for the orcs and ogres, or s these creatures, which, um, yeah, I think you will see it right now. Um, please, I, okay, pick up the book. Thank you. You will see the creature, which I mean right now. But first, we have to open this book and get a paper. It's a spell book, which doesn't, yeah, it's just necessary for this piece of paper, which we need for the door, because... I think many people know the trick uh, of other games, or maybe they used it in reality. I don't even know if you used it in reality. Um, I'm not sure what happened. Put some paper under the door, then use something to put the key from the door lock, and it falls down to the paper. It's a, it's a typical uh, thing. The only thing in this game is they said, that, I think they said, okay, we need a, realist, a realistic door, please use the, the, the lock and the door and only use the key with the, the lock, not with the door <laughs> and something like that. Uh, the most game says, okay, use key with door and not more, not less. So you don't have much to prepare and this time it's uh, too much to do. But okay. Um, I think they thought, okay, this game needs more riddles, so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay, we have the truth and maybe um, the most people know, maybe which I played... Um, uh, Gothic, for example, or many other games which have druids into it, um, they have a mighty power. Um, I hope I get the right thingy. Um, they have a power to change their um, their form. They can transform. That's the right word. They can transform into a, a creature, to an animal, or something else. And he can do it too. Okay, um, okay, just the one, and now the second one. Yeah, and he's t telling us now, and watch, it, it's polymorph. Okay, polymorph it's called, I forget. And he can transform to a frog. Yep, he can be a frog. Everyone else can be a... I, I don't think uh, it's a wolf, it's a bear, or something else, and he is a frog. 
<laughs> I don't know. It's useful. It's not. I don't even know. I don't even care. But, oh no, uh, I missed to put the bucket on the head. Uh, but the only thing is he can polymorph if it's full moon and with the help of the bucket with the hole and this light. His body thinks it's full moon. And now he is a frog. Can escape from this place. And now we wait. Okay, not exactly now, but nearly. Because we have to hide first. Going there, I can you uh, take the order to open something. Right? It's <laughs> extreme acupuncture. Okay, and the Iron Maiden, I'm, it's extreme acupuncture. I think it's right. Maybe it's something else. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, yeah, that's the problem here. You can just wait until they are finished with the dialogues. And yeah, days pass. We can open the, 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 the Iron Maiden. And it's interesting that we have already in the medieval fantasy genre um, mints, which we need later, <laughs> but we have mint. Okay, we have the czar, which we, the hexaw, which we need for the bars. And the rescue action is done at this point. And we are coming more and more at the point where we are become a sorcerer. But first we have to go to the Dragon's Cave again. And there is a special person which can teach us the, the spells which we need later for the important fight. Maybe the inspiration for it was Merlin and... Yeah, Merlin. And this witch, which I don't know how he, she called. <laughs> It's not that important, and um, but yeah, and uh, th this fight is important for us because she has something which we need later, and I can explain it in a few minutes. But this is a very important person, yeah, person <laughs> who can call us the important spells which we need um to fight against some other people so i'm using the white spirit or the pink sludge and if you remember it right the woodcutter wanted to cut him down and now we uh, deleted or removed the, the the pink sludge and now <laughs> the woodcutter has nothing to do anymore so sometimes it's a, it's a cycle and yes um if you read it right and fast enough, I skipped it. Uh, the the typical spells are Upper Katabra, is I think Simsalabim, uh, Hocus Pocus, and Sausages. Yep, Sausages. A very important spell. <laughs> I don't know why they used Sausages for it, but okay. Okay, we need the Witch for it. Yes, Tim, I, I think you have something to say. <laughs> yep, sorry. <laughs> just, to, just to ask if you've got time, just to quickly talk a wee bit about the, the charity. Yeah, yes, of course. Okay, you're watching ESA Summer Online, and we are raising money for Alzheimer Fonden, who are the Swedish national fundraising organization focusing on Alzheimer's disease and other dementia-related diseases. Alzheimer Fonden's aim and purpose is to increase fundraising to the benefit of scientific research in order to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease. And yearly, Alzheimer Fonden Science Council and Board of Directors grant scientists and projects around 30 million Swedish crowns. So all of your donations are going towards this amazing cause. Okay, back to you, Rakuz. Thank you. Um, yes, we are now uh, at the <laughs> at the end position of the game, but it's not the end of the game. It's sort of towery right now, but um, yeah, we don't have the chance to get into it because the bridge is broken down. And uh, now we need something to get over this. I hope I don't have a soft lock. Okay, the <laughs> I just strained it before and I had right now here a soft lock without any reasons. I don't know why. But thanks, it worked pretty well. Okay, we have the results here right now. And this is the point where we get the license um, of to be, um, yeah, to be a wizard. Okay, but they don't, uh, yeah, they don't want me. 
They think, okay, you're just a kiddo, please go away. And we have to do, uh, to promise that we will do anything for them so that we can get, can be a, yeah, a wizard. And the only thing that they will is the staff. And, and okay, it's not the only thing. Okay, we are now Merlin now, not Simon anymore. And they want three, 30 pieces of gold, but we have more than enough. It's not the problem. And after that, the horrible thing can happen. Can took, uh, can take about 30 seconds or a minute. I don't really know. And it can take uh, about six minutes. I don't even know how much it can take. We will see it later <laughs> right now. Because now it's the RNG based fight against the witch. Right now in the witch house. Okay. And this is the reason why we are here. The broom. It's not a typical broom, it's just a broom which a, like a witch has. It's a flying broom, if you maybe know. And if you don't know, then you don't know it. Then you know it right now. <laughs> Good to say. Okay, we are ready and... I, maybe I'm right or wrong. I don't really get a... How can I say... Okay, this is this is bad. Um, maybe it's some timing. This is bad too. It's <laughs> it's too uh, too zero for her. Okay, this is a draw, and this is a three to oh for her. That's a bad fight. Um, yeah, I don't really found out which system is there. It's maybe timed. It's maybe not timed. Um, the last time I. Uh, maybe it was on Tuesday. I tried it again and I had a uh, 3-0 without any draws. It was the fastest fight I ever had and it didn't record it. It was very great anyway. <laughs> it's, it's, it's typical. The thing is, okay, you're pretty fast right now. Yeah, yeah, okay. Great, no record. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a 1-0 one one for me. That's a 2-0 for me. That's great, but it's not over yet. And a draw. <laughs> draw again. Come on! <laughs> this is which... <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, come on. 2-1. Are you serious? I think my strat doesn't work anymore. <laughs> my best, it was my best strat. Um, um, cause I. Oh come on, it's a three-two for her. Okay, that's uh, that's what I mean. You can you can try to take any of them, but unless you didn't know which how this RNG works, it's more luck than everything else. And that's why I'm using always the same spell, because you can be lucky. Sometimes I th have the feeling that she's using um, one spell too many times. The cat spell sometimes, and this uh, other thing. I don't even know which, what kind of monster it is, <laughs> or what animal it is. Um, she is not using that often, but this time it's bad RNG. Yeah. Come on. Okay, I'm just spamming right now, so it's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, I'm just trying... Or a draw, yes, of course. It's of course. <laughs> I hate this. Okay. This is the typical worst case scenario. <laughs> it took so much time. That's the reason why I set it up to an estimate of about um, one hour. Cause it takes much time. <sighs> okay, come on. I hope this time works pretty well, and... Okay, this is a one. A 
draw. Draw again. Come on, give me a cat. <laughs> okay. Please give me again a cat. Okay, that's bad. <sighs> okay. Great. <laughs> Doesn't work. Okay, another time. The only thing I could use that would be faster, but it's n it's not necessary, maybe. I hope so. It's the fast forward mode of this gummy game, but I hope we don't need it. Um... Please give me the last chance. <laughs> give me one good RNG this time. Just once. Okay. Please another? Oh, come on. Draw. <laughs> she doesn't like me, I see it. Oh, boy. Okay. Tim, if you have anything to say, you can use the chance. I think it will take some time. <laughs> okay, I will indeed. Yes, I would just like to remind you, you are watching ESA Summer Online, raising money for Alzheimer Fondant. We're $41,102 earned towards an amazing cause. And remember that there are some bid wars and uh, a donation incentive still to be met. We have the bid war for the next one coming up, which is going to be... Edna and Harvey. Currently, we've got Destroy Harvey on $180 and Push Dr. Marcel at $160. So it's quite close there. So if you'd like to make the your choice there, please get your donations in. And then for the run after that, we have Anna's Fate in the Immortal. Save Anna is on $75. And Skip Anna doesn't have any love on $0 at the moment. And remember, we have our massive bonus run, Super Mario 64, 16 star, by Simply. And we're needing $10,000 for that, but I'm sure we can manage it. We're on 3,776 and 33 cents. You've got approximately 12 hours, uh, just under that now, to get that in. So please get your donations coming in towards a fantastic cause. Back over to you, Rikers. Okay, thank you. I think I will do the yeah one thing you just um, just in case for the esti estimated. Um, if this uh, fight is going wrong right now, then I will use the fast forward of the scum VM at this point, just in case uh, that we don't lose too much time anymore. But okay, it's just a two zero right now. I think no two one, but so it's not done yet. Okay. <laughs> I think the witch heard that and she doesn't want uh, a fast forward, so it's fine. I lost pretty much time because of these RNG and this, this is uh, the point where you get a run killer anytime. If the witch doesn't work, you can go and reset and this is normally about after 30 minutes. That's the big problem. Okay, but we are, we are done with it. We will never see her again. We are going back to the village. Because we um, need something from the druid, which we saved earlier. Okay, not that earlier, but we saved him. And he has still a big problem. His body needs a full moon to, get, uh, to be a frog. But I think he is too old and his whole body thinks, Okay, I'm a frog. And he needs help. He needs pretty much help. He needs some um, um, herb, I would say. This frog spain, which we took earlier, pretty much earlier, I think it's yeah, it's it's, it's a long time ago. This one frog spain. I wish with with this uh, frog spain, we help him, and he will help us. We get some potion, which we need right now at yeah, sort it's uh, fortress. Um, which we are going right now, because we are done with this whole world. Using the broom. 
I'm so happy about that the witch fight is over. <laughs> I did someone count it how many times I lose in this <laughs> this run. This is the worst case scenario. I hope I never will get it, but okay. Okay, we are here right now and can consume the potion and now we are big like a mouse. Yeah, I think big like a mouse. Thanks to the potion we which we got from the from the retreat, but we needed it. It was really necessary um, to get into Zorid's fortress or tower. I think it's more a tower in this case, but it's fine. Yeah, we need uh, some stuff. We lost every item, especially the map. We don't need it anymore. And all other items, uh, except for the postcard, which is for saving and loading. So we don't need it, but it's important. I don't really know why they didn't make a um, kind of yeah, click F5 or some uh, some other buttons to uh, get the option menu for save or and load. No, nope, we got the postcard for it as an item. Great. Okay, we built a little boat. Um, skip this scene. Take the seats and waiting a moment, going back to the shore and with the help of the stone and the seats, we get some oil, which we need. And this is a little dangerous part. Cars. I'm a double clicker. Sometimes in such games. And if you use the oil and double click as an accident on the tap, he's doing this animation right now two times and cause of reasons. This um, triggers, um, yeah, the, the, the trigger behind that, the water is now more or less. It doesn't work anymore right now, and you, you will softlock this game here, because the boat cannot go left anymore. He's just saying, nope, it's not enough water here, and it doesn't work. And only with this, if you're doing it right, you can, yeah, swim on the left. But it's dangerous. <laughs> I destroyed so many runs at this point. And yeah, never again. Since that time, I'm really, really careful that I don't click too many times on the tab. Okay, we are, yeah, with the, with the tap pole, we got the frog away. And we, we need the mushrooms, which are pretty small. Consume that and yeah, with this mushroom, we destroy the... Yeah, the, the power of the potion, and we are big again. Taking the branch, which we need later, but not that later, and going inside the tower. And yeah, this is the guy which says, Welcome! This is Zordon's home. You are my food. I think you are tasty. Or not. <laughs> yeah, this... Uh, this I think if someone played maybe Don't Starve, he would call him Chester. <laughs> it would be perfect. Okay, he uh, flew and now we have to go inside again. And just using the branch with the chest and trying to pick up. And after that we can take the shield. And we are getting closer and closer to the end. But first the tower and then the pit. But first to wait, the Chester says, okay, I give up. With the help of the branch, we are done here. Okay, taking the shield and we need some spear. The S spear here, this one. And then we're going downstairs. And there is the question, how fast can you can how fast you can be? Um if you're really fast, okay, I'm just using the spear first. Um you can you can't skip anything, but you don't uh, lose time on thingies like the lever on this block here and he is doing one animation after it and it's really fast if you're doing it right so i will give it a try okay putting the lever taking the chest if i have the chest walking to the block use the chest with the block clicking move and then on the lever And again and again. And this is the fastest one. If you're doing it right, he is just moving level one uh, down and up, and you get the candles, which you will need later pretty fast. And if you're doing it wrong, <laughs> then, you do 
that's the problem with what I meant. If you're double clicking it, or maybe like I did again. Okay, no, this time it works. He's walking up and then down again. I don't know why. Okay, I'm here right now. We need the magic wand, which uh, sorted left here. I don't even know why. We need the book and the sock. So many items right, ne right here, which we never need again. So the pouch. Or pouch. I think pouch. And... Okay, this was too slow. I was thinking about reading book or... But we're using the pouch with the sock first. Then reading the book should be fine. And using the pouch again with the hole. Because we need a mouse later. And... Yeah. Have it. And now... We're going upstairs. Can skip this one, but... Oh, wrong. I need the chemicals, not the skull. I have already a skull. This is the funny thing. You have to get the skull from the cellar and you have always here a skull. <laughs> but you cannot get this one. I think this is the typical problem with the game logic. But it's fine. It works. Okay, reading this book, using the shield, and then we will take care about the first dialogue. Which will take... Two minutes? I don't... I'm not sure. It will take my whole life. Uh, I, I think it's the problem because they have special um, animations of the sprites. Which causes this, that, it, uh, that the dialogue's not skippable. Or the devs wanted that you not skipping the very very important information about them what's the problem with them why are they here why they can't go home etc etc but to be honest especially in this dialogue it doesn't help it's the first one and then we're going downstairs and then we go up then they have the very important information so i don't have a clue why they have Simon skippable, but they are not. We will never find out. Except they will post the source code maybe in 50 years, 60 years, I don't know. I mean, AdventureSoft is still existing. They they had two companies at the same time. The one is the developer, the, under, uh, the, the other is the, um, the publisher. The publisher is still existing and they are publishing the Simon and Sorcerer still now. And... But the developers are officially not existing anymore. And I think it's better. I mean, <laughs> maybe someone remembers um, Simon the Souls Raw 3D. I never played it, uh, but I saw screenshots of it and I will never play it. <laughs> this one game which I say, okay, no. But to be honest, there are many more games, not from the same developer, um, from a German dev, I think. But... I played it a bit and I don't was that uh, happy about that. It wasn't funny anymore. Okay. Okay, I think... Um, okay, I got um, one solution. Okay, we... This is the reason why I'm going down. I'm speaking with the mirror and we are... Yeah, spy on the both demons. And with the help of these, um, we get the names of the demons, the original names. I mean, one of them is called Max, the other I don't even know. I already forgot the names. I have a real um, problem uh, with names, with the name, mem name memory. <laughs> and yeah, yes. Sorry, we have a donation for you. Oh, yeah. Go as on. long as you don't mind. Uh, we have $100 from Zidher, who says, what an intense magic battle. Nice fight. <laughs> Greetings from Germany. <laughs> so thank you very much indeed for that very generous donation. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, this battle was horrible. <laughs> but I, I, I survived. That's the important thing. Thank you very much. Yeah, so... um, This is the problem right now. It's the... I think the longest part uh, of dialogues with the demons, but after that we have only one a bit longer dialogue with 
uh, sort it again, and then that's it. And we're doing good. So they're telling us we have no chance to sort it. He will be the greatest, the mightiest, and they all just want to go home. And the only way to get out or to find sorted, etc., is this teleporter on the left side, you see. And they will help us only if we send them back. We have to discuss with them, okay, I'm a wizard, I will help you, and they don't trust me. Um, they don't think we are a mighty wizard and we could help them. But we already read all the books which we need to get to the location where um, Sorted is. And we have the information what we can do with the wand uh, to get all the statues free. Maybe you can remember on the ice location or snow location where many statues were. These are all people which fight, uh, which were fighting against Sorted and had no chance because he is powerful with this wand. He can put them all to a stone, to statues, and that's it. So, and they will help us, hopefully. And I hope I didn't forget anything. Nope, everything is fine. We get the chalk which we need to make, uh, to make a pentagram, I think. So we can send them back. We have every item, the skull, the mouse, and I have a mouse. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, we can skip this and we're going just to the teleporter and we are nearly done with this. Uh, with the tower, the tower is gone and now we are near to the final. Uh, that's the it's the last location, the, the fi fairy pits of Rondor. I think maybe this could be a... Little cause of <laughs> copyright, but this is not the problem today anymore. Okay, we need the 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 the, 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 the this 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 little sapling and the pebbles, and we're talking to the attendant, cause this pits of the round door is just a touristic location, and yeah. <laughs> Why ever? I think the the devs thought more about okay, make it funny. We don't need even take it serious in anymore. So, okay, we are gone here. We are looking at the this one, taking the elastic band and the uh, sapling. So we have a slingshot. and Or in this case, catapult. I don't know why they called it catapult. It's a slingshot. This is fine. And yeah. He is gone. Pause. Why he is still there, we have no chance to get into the pits and we need the souvenir matches. And now the problem is solved. Okay, get them, got the matches, and now we are taking some other the floor wax here. And now it's pretty dangerous. I had a horrible lock. It's it wasn't a permanent soft lock. It was a temporary soft lock. Um, cause you have to use the wand. On him, so he will be a statue. The problem is, I skipped the first sentence of Simon so fast that he locked himself exactly this sentence right now, and it was locked about 45 seconds. And this is the reason why I'm just waiting until he is starting this animation, and I don't have any problem anymore. <laughs> it was so horrible. I, I had the world record, that was a good point, but to lose 45 seconds at this point was horrible, and I thought. Okay, maybe next time. And was the reason why I started again a run and then without this bug and it works pretty well and I had a, a pretty nice um, fight with four rounds. Yeah, four rounds with one draw and with three wins and this was pretty fast. So I think you can maybe save a half minute right now. So a sub, 40, a sub 54 should be possible right now. But only with... Good precision uh, of the mouse, very fast action, and a very good witch fight. Okay, now we uh, had made a mistake, which we have to do, cause we just we put the fire or the, the the lava on again with the matches, which is nearly impossible, but who cares? I mean, we use the magnet to get gold; it's impossible too. And because we, we destroyed the wand of sorted, our uh, statues are getting to life again. They're back to life again. And 
Now, uh, Sordid is back too again and we have a little problem. But Calypso will help us, we think. But yeah, he needs some time, so we have to do something. But you know, his spells, the spells of Simon are not the greatest, so no chance. And I would say we are not done yet, but I hope Tech is ready, or ho or Tim, or whoever do it, does it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we are near the end, and the position when the uh, timer stops is when I'm using the Florex with Sorted, and after that the mouse cursor disappears. This is the time point. So we're going inside. I'm using, um, going to use it. So ready for time. It's not that far away anymore. Skipping this. We have two soaps. <laughs> we have two sword. It's fine. It's it's okay. Using the floor racks on sorted, and this is time. <sighs> Na, Fantastic after, one. After a long, long fight. <laughs> this was a really bad fight with the witch. <laughs> That was an absolutely fantastic run. We're going to move straight on to an intermission because I believe you're up again very shortly, uh, Rakus. Yeah. So we're going to go straight to a quick intermission and we'll be right back with your next run. But thank you. That was a fantastic, fantastic run. Hope everybody enjoyed.